taking a live look at Denver's Civic Center Park, where today members of City Council will discuss banning concealed weapons in parks and other areas. Yeah, Denver 7's Jessica Crawford is here with more on the proposal, and Jessica, it's already getting some pushback. Yeah. That's right. Today's discussion could change some things. It could lead to some stricter rules on where people can carry their guns in Denver. More places would be off limits. Right now, more pe most people are not allowed to open carry in the city of Denver. People are allowed, though, to have concealed guns in Denver, but they do require permits. This bill would prevent most people from carrying a concealed weapon whenever the person is in a park, a building, or a portion of a building that's owned by, leased by, or or lease to the city and county of Denver. These restrictions would also apply to concealed carrying of firearms by people who have concealed carry permits. If you don't comply, there could be a $50 fine on the first offense. That second offense could lead to a $999 fine and up to 300 days in jail. There would be some exceptions like law enforcement and the licensed security guards. This proposal came up two weeks ago, but was delayed over questions about crimes that would be prevented by the ban. Data cited by the National Bureau of Economic Research says concealed weapons holders are a major supplier of guns to criminals with an estimated 100,000 guns stolen from people who concealed carry each year. There were also concerns that this measure could increase police interaction with marginalized groups. The committee reached out to groups that have historically pushed for more gun restrictions. During discussion last week, a council member asked which guns rights groups have been consulted. Staff said there had been a few emails anecdotally. They'll pick it back up at 1030 this morning in the city and county building. I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7. All right, thank you, Jessica. Well, new research finds that guns have now surpassed car crashes as the leading cause of death among children in the country. A team at the University of Michigan finds firearm related deaths in kids under 19 years old increased by 29 percent between 2019 and 2020. The research team is hopeful their study can help policymakers and community groups find better solutions to this major national issue.